Hello viewers, this is Ayana Jayabhanan. Now we will discuss about one of the features in Angular 9, lazily or dynamically loading of component. Basically, we have seen that one, you know, in Angular 8 and all, you know, how to load the modules lazily. And same way, we will see in Angular 9, how to load our components dynamically or lazily. Let's get into the implementation now. Let me go and create one new application. Creating name of lazy loading. I just want to create a minimal uh, project set project files. I'm just going with a minimal. And I'm not going to use any routing now because I'm going to use lazy loading. And let me have a style format as CSS. Okay, I am just creating the new application with the minimal files. Now Angular application is created now. Let me getting into that application and open the VS Code editor. Let me open the terminal. And if you see that one, it's just created the minimal files. Okay, since I used that minimal option, it's created minimal. Let me create a two component. Okay. I just I'm just going to create one two new component I'm just going to create a as a flat component that means it won't create any folder if I'm using the flat option it won't create any new folder and also I'm going to import into the app module okay, I'm going to skip the imports okay and also I'm not going to use a selector. Okay, I'm going to skip this color selector also. Okay, so I think skip imports. I'm just creating one lazy one component. Okay, so now component is lazy one component is created. Let me create another one. The another one is called as lazy two component. Okay, so I just created two lazy component. If you go and see that one, under it's in, it didn't create any folder because I've used the flat flat, and also I haven't used a skip import, so it didn't update any app module here. If you go and see the app module. So you, you, you don't see that one in the lazy two component has been added to the app module. Okay. And since I use a skip selector, if I go and see that one here in the component TS file, the selector is not added here. Okay. That is the purpose of these flags. Okay. So let me go to the app component. Now it is created. So let me delete this one and let me create a one button and I'm going to have click event. Okay, I'm going to say load lazy one. I'm just removing. Okay, I'm um, load lazy one. I'm going to create another one which is lazy two. I have created uh, on button click event. I am going to load the compound lazy one compound one and button click two. I'm going to load the lazy to component dynamically within the app component okay so let me go and delete this and all let me handle the 
events first load lazy one component okay so to load the component dynamically we need two things one is view container references and the another one is component factory resolver so for that one i am going to create a constructor to inject wait this one container v reference view container reference and then i'm adding another one is component factory resolver okay i've just added i have just injected to object here so I'm going to use I'm loading before that I'm just going to clear it because when I'm going to inject lazy loading the component will inject at the bottom of the page okay so I just want to clear this at the bottom and then what I'm going to say I'm going to load the component dynamically await import statement in that I'm saying lazy one dot component lazy one dot component since I'm using that async operation I have to use async here to load it lazily cannot find a module okay correct fine so I'm just inputting the component what component lazy one component and just to specify in a class name here basically it will give an object component and then this dot cv reference create component I'm going to create a component from the resolver resolver will do resolve the component factory I'm just going to say that one lazy one component which class okay so basically what will happen when we are calling this function it will load the component and create the component the container reference this is a entire container references it will be added at the bottom okay same way I'm going to have another one load lazy2 in that I am loading the lazy2 component dynamically okay so now I'm saving let's see that one what application is running and this so so I'm getting an error error parsing template unexpected closing tag I think here we are missing here double quotes double quotes closing and then we are let me run it again okay it's compiled successfully let me open your browser what double zero okay so welcome to lazy loading app is running let me check excellent now the first lazy load component is loaded uh, and if I click lazy load to second component is loaded successfully how can we make sure that one you know my component is loaded dynamically that means it's a lazy loader okay let me open the developer tab in the chrome browser let me refresh the application let me see the network tab I'm just clearing it out and when I'm clicking the lazy load it has to load it from here just a minute something is a problem 
okay i have to select all correct let me run it again i'm just clearing it i'm loading the first lazy one component it's loading dynamically so that means what when we are loading at the time only it's loading the component.js file when i'm loading second component it's loading the second component okay so this is a way we have to achieve dynamically loading the component in angular 9 okay hope you enjoyed and understood that how to do the lazy loading in angular 9 please subscribe if you would like to see more tech videos like this thank you